Some research studies have shown that Omicron is increasingly being reported in children. So how do we go about this looking at the vaccination scenario in children? Do we send our kids to school? How about the doses of vaccinations to be given to the children? Hello friends, this is Dr. Preeti Sharma, Senior Consultant Pulmonology and Critical Care at Apollo Clinic, Sector 8, Chandigarh. So we have seen that as compared to the previous two waves, that is the first and second wave, children are getting more infected in this Omicron variant. So why is this so? Children have not been vaccinated as of now. Moreover, the Omicron variant is more transmissible. That means that it is spreading easily from one person to another. So the children are getting infected at a faster rate. But fortunately, we have seen that the rate of hospitalization and the severity of the disease is less in children. So we are fortunate enough to have the children who are coming to the OPDs with their symptoms and getting treated. So what are the symptoms that we see in children caused by this Omicron variant? The kids suffer from coryza, what we call it as a sore throat or rhinorrhea, which is called as a running nose. Or you have fever, you have fatigue, loss of appetite, diarrhea could also be a symptom in a children. So the, these symptoms, if we find in children, we should get themselves tested and consult our pediatrician. So what are the wa warning signs in the children? Warning signs are high grade fever, which is persisting in spite of medications or who have bluishness of tongue or lips. That is because of desaturation, that is oxygen levels are falling down. We need to immediately report to the hospital in case the child is lethargic or the child is not behaving as in the manner he used to behave previously. They are not getting their uh, work done. So if you see these symptoms in the children, please consult your pediatrician and get the children tested for COVID-19 because the symptoms are mainly similar to the common cold which is seen in many children. So the children spread this virus from one to another because they are not even able to follow the COVID appropriate behavior. So in this scenario, is it safe for the kids to go to school? So these are the questions rising up by the community. So what we propose is the children who are in the primary wing, who cannot look after themselves properly or who cannot follow the COVID appropriate behavior should not be sent to the school if they have any of these symptoms, if even they have a common cold, so that they don't transmit the disease further. While the children who can take care of themselves, the elder children can go to school provided that they are also screened for their symptoms and they are not sent when they have these symptoms of fever or sore throat or common cold so that they don't spread the disease further. So nowadays a campaign of vaccination is going on in our country and we have started vaccinating the younger children that is 15 to 18 years of age groups. So since January 3rd this campaign was started and by now to our amaze we have found that 52% of these young children have been vaccinated with a single dose. So that's a good sign and then further lined up are the 12 to 14 years age group. So the vaccine trials are going on which are also so that we can provide the vaccination to the children below 12 years of age. Although in America, in other countries, the children are being vaccinated when they are more than 5 years of age. So in India, the different trials are still going on. In this scenario, we have to take care that any community at home or at school, whoever is coming in contact with the children, that is purposely for the adults, they should be completely vaccinated so that at least they do not give any exposure of the virus to the children. So for the school premises also it goes, they have to complete their staff's vaccination and whoever is there should have their both the doses given of the vaccination. Even at home, this should be followed. Every adult in the home should be completely vaccinated. By this manner, at least we can prevent the exposure to the children till they have their vaccinations and we can teach them how to follow their COVID appropriate behavior till we get the vaccines for the children. We should also know how to increase the immunity by giving them a balanced diet, giving a plenty of hydration. We need to have carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fibers in the diet. We can give them vitamin C, zinc rich foods. So all these things should be taken care of, telling them about washing hands again and again with hand sanitizer while they're performing their activities. So this will help to protect our children till the time we have vaccinations for them. Thank you.